Hi, this is Enrique with Russell Tree Experts, an arborist community expert, and this is How to Sharpen a Chainsaw Chain. You will need a chainsaw, a chainsaw file, and a flat file. For PPE, please wear safety glasses and gloves. First, place your chainsaw on a flat and stable surface. Tighten the bar and chain with the bar lifted up so that there is no wiggle or sag. You should still be able to slide the chain around if needed. Sharpen the chainsaw chain on a flat portion of the bar and not a rounded portion. For the sake of this video, there are two important parts of a chainsaw chain to know. The tooth and the raker. The tooth and the raker have a left side and a right side that alternate back and forth along the chain. Sharpen all teeth on one side before sharpening all the teeth on the other side. Before sharpening your chainsaw chain, ensure that you are using the proper file size for the chain. To sharpen a tooth, place the chainsaw file against the inner curved portion of the tooth and move it along the existing angle and line of the tooth set by the manufacturer. Although part of the tooth may be damaged, you should still be able to see the line and angle of the tooth. If you are unable to see the angle, you may want to consider replacing the entire chainsaw chain. When using the chainsaw file, ensure that the file is level and not crooked or slanted. Apply pressure using your index finger towards the angle of the tooth and not against it. Count your number of strokes on the first tooth and apply the same number to each and every tooth. When you are finished, all the teeth should be similarly sized. So, if needed, make adjustments to your number of strokes. You are looking for a straight line along the edge of the tooth and a precise point on the apex of the tooth. Between every tooth or two, Wipe off the chainsaw file on the opposite direction against a paper towel or cloth to avoid building up shavings. After you are done sharpening all the teeth on your chain, pay attention to how fast or slow your chainsaw cuts. If it is still slow, you may need to shorten the height of the raker. If so, take three or four strokes off each raker using a flat file. As you shorten each raker, make sure your strokes are in the same direction as the tooth. If your saw is cutting curved on a large diameter wood, your teeth may be unbalanced or sharper on one side. You will need to sharpen the chainsaw chain again once you feel your saw start to cut slower than usual or if you notice sawdust instead of salt chips. This may be after a few hours or after a few days. Your timing will vary. Avoid cutting into dirt, rocks, or metal objects to prolong the sharpness and life of your chainsaw chain. For additional help and practice in sharpening a chainsaw chain, please contact your crew leader or production manager.